As we continue with snow removal season, we felt it was important to answer some of our most asked questions from the public on the topic. Aside from safety and how residents can help, a number of calls we receive have to do with the windrows left behind by the graders. Windrow sizing, we try and keep it minimal to be able to gate people's uh, driveways and stuff like that, but it does fill up pretty quick and we do do the best we can to, to get rid of it away from the driveways, but sometimes it's pretty difficult. Crews can be out as early as 4 a.m. following a heavy snowfall, and they use a variety of equipment. The snowblower is usually after the snow is it's on the ground and it's wind road in the center, and we're all in the whole town. But when it snows, there's usually the plow, sand, or graders. They go out and they just open up the road. The thing that I think about when it snows is you know within the next few days the equipment's going to be coming by. And if you can get out and move it, like that really helps. It speeds things up, the less cars on the road and the less traffic. And can people just be patient, it, it gets done. Another question often asked deals with the financial implications of snow removal. While we never stop snow removal due to costs, it does affect the way removal is done from time to time. On average, the town of Edson spends approximately $600,000 on snow removal in a single year. Sometimes it's more, other times less, depending on the type of winter that we have. To give you some idea on how that money is spent, if the town goes aggressive on removal, say after a large dump of snow, and we use snow blowers and renting trucks to keep up, it can cost upwards of ten to twelve thousand dollars a day just for the equipment. Include labor and any overtime, and this can add up very quickly. If we use loaders and the trucks that we have in our fleet, it does take a little longer, but reduces costs significantly. A number of factors decide what strategy we use, including the amount of snow that's fallen, the budget, manpower, and equipment availability, keeping in mind that if we need more equipment, other communities and businesses may also be in line for rentals. I hope you found this information useful. Again, if you have any snow removal questions, please contact our Public Works Office at 780-723-6461.